Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to teach you how to play Indian Summer, uh, the latest Uwe Rosenberg uh, Tetris-like game, um, and I will just be completely upfront. I love all of those games. I grew up playing Tetris like crazy on my Game Boy, um, and even to the point now where my family goes on vacations, uh, usually somebody will always run to a store and find one of those handheld Tetrises just to make sure that we have it because I don't think we have our Game Boys around anymore. Uh, but yeah, huge Tetris fan here and it contributes to my love of these kinds of games and, and I really like that there is kind of a variety of these but they're all pretty similar. They're great games for me to pull out and teach uh, new players and, and uh, my non-gamer family members, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and play uh, this game of Indian Summer. I'm going to be doing a two-player game. We've got the blue player on the left and the red player on the right, and I have just added papers underneath the player boards just to make it clear as we bounce back and forth from one camera to the next uh, what's going on. So each player is, has some leaf tiles available to them now, and we'll get a closer look, but essentially we're trying to fill up our entire board with these leaf tiles and do so in a strategic way. And then from there, we have these leaf tiles available, and when it's time to replenish or to refill, uh, we're going to be refilling from this path up here. Also on the path are some brown neutral animal tokens up there. We'll talk more about those soon. And down here, I just have a Play-No box filled with uh, what are called treasures and also some squirrel tiles. And then I have our player aid. So our players have these backpacks to mark kind of an order to their path and on the back of those backpacks is a, a really great aid to help you know what the different treasures do um, and I have just set one of those on the Plano box there for ease and simplicity of play. So now that you have a general overview of what the play area looks like let's go ahead and zoom into the blue players area because they're going to be our first player and let's talk about what we're trying to do in the game. All right, so here you can see the blue player's player board. Um, and what we're gonna do here is talk about the point of the game. <laughs> the point of the game is to be the first person to completely fill up your board um, using these leaf tiles, but also it's possible to acquire and use these uh, squirrel tiles. They can go and fill in single spaces if you need them. Um, and so yeah, basically the first player to uh, cause that to happen is going to trigger the end game. Uh, the blue player is the first player, so if he finishes filling up all of the spaces on his board, then the red player would get one more turn. If the red player finishes before the blue player does, then that's going to be the end of the game. Um, and yeah, uh, there's one more chance to kind of turn things in and fill stuff up, but essentially that's kind of where it will go. So we're trying to fill up our board as quickly as possible. Now, we're trying to do so uh, intelligently, so <laughs> the reason why I say that is you'll notice that all of these leaf tiles, they have these different holes. And on the board, you're going to see a bunch of icons for the treasures. Uh, as far as I could tell, every board has several blueberries and acorns. Those are the most common kinds. Those will grant you kind of special abilities that we'll discuss soon. And then mushrooms are more rare, and then one leaf uh, is extremely rare because it grants a pretty good power. Um, and there are ways to get those treasures, and we'll talk more about that soon. But essentially the game is you're trying to be intelligent in the way that you're going to pick up your tiles and place them on your board. You'll see that it's kind of divided into six sets of 12. Um, that's because earning these tiles comes from filling up these individual spaces. So you're obviously trying to fill up your whole board, but along the way you're going to try to fill up the uh, small spaces of your board. And so, really, your gameplay is extremely simple. On your turn, you basically have one main action that you can take. And the general common action is to pick one of your tiles in front of you and put it on the board. And you'll try to do so in smart ways, like I said, where, I mean, you want to fill up the board quickly, so you don't want to handicap yourself by slowing down, but you want to do that in ways where you can put these uh, open spaces on the leaf tiles, over these treasure tiles and that will give you an opportunity to claim some of those treasures which in theory should help you speed up the process um, and make better ways of filling up your board. And so that's kind of the main action. Uh, a secondary main action that you can take but hopefully you don't need to take it that often is to uh, grab one of these squirrel tiles from the main supply and just place it on your board immediately. Um, but because there are opportunities to do that. For example, that's what the acorns do. You spend an acorn and you can get a squirrel tile for free. Um, but if by chance you don't have your acorn, then you can just pick up a squirrel tile. 
So that's more or less it. Obviously, we need to talk about the um, different treasures and what they do. Um, I'll, I'll explain what they do really quickly, but then we'll just dive in. And when we use the tiles, which I'm planning to use for the blue player quickly, uh, you'll understand better. So in the back of the backpacks, it will show you that a blueberry uh, will let you refill your backpack if it's down. So you should traditionally have five tiles in front of you like that. And what the blueberry does is if you're low on tiles, it's gonna let you refill your tiles so that you have more tiles in your path um, and things like that. Or it will let you pick up a sixth one. So that's actually what I'm planning on doing, spoiler alert. We already have five tiles, but there is a tile right in front of the bush that I'm kind of eyeing and I'd like to pick that up if I can. Acorns, I already mentioned, will let you pick up a squirrel tile and just put it on your board directly. Now, instead of taking your main action of just grabbing one of these and putting it on the board, um, that's where the mushrooms and the leaf come into play. They're more powerful. Uh, a mushroom will let you, if this was a three or four player game, uh, you would take the tile closest to the backpacks of two different players and place them on your board. So you're kind of stealing from other people and they go directly on your board. That's a great way to fill these up quickly if you want to. Uh, in the case where this is a two-player game, you would take the tile closest to the backpack from, so one tile from the other player, and then you would take the tile directly in front of the bush uh, in the main player area. Or the feather, if you have a feather and want to spend it, will just let you play two tiles directly uh, from in front of you. So definitely worth trying to get um, those tokens there. And yes, let's go look at the main player board and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I'm planning for the blue player's turn. Okay, so here you can kind of see the communal board where we have a bunch of leaves um, from the path and we would be pulling from the path to fill up our backpacks when those backpacks empty out. Uh, but we also have some animal tiles. I wanna explain more how these come into play in a little bit, uh, but just a couple of things to point out. Some ways to get a, uh, the feather, for example, is to be able to place uh, this square tile in the it can be trickier than it sounds um, but you'll see we've got these different animal tiles and these ones over here are special and they have um, treasures on top of them if by chance you can place them and then we have kind of some more common ones and easier to place ones over here as well as kind of an exchange rate so this is showing you you can exchange two blueberries for an acorn two acorns for a mushroom two mushrooms for a leaf or you can downgrade any of those uh, one for one and the blue player is going first and kind of notice this Utah shape. And of course I noticed that it's the Utah shape because that's where I'm from, uh, with a hole in the exact right spot. And so maybe to get started, this could be crazy. I think the blue player wants to spend the blueberry. Again, the blueberry refills your backpack up to five tiles or can add a sixth tile. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and spend the blueberry. And that's going to allow the blue player to take whatever is closest to the bush. So upside down Utah tile like this. So we're going to take this back to our board and add it to our line. And again, you can never have more than six tiles here. So I, if I had another blueberry, I would not be able to do that again. Um, but that's going to bring up a good question that maybe you're having right now, which is that uh, basically for your main action, again, you can place one of these or you could spend a mushroom or you could spend a feather. Um, but spending blueberries and acorns, you can do as many of those on your turn as you want to, and they don't count as a main action. So spending that blueberry was just a special action, and now for my main action, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these. I'm going to pick this Utah shape and put it right here. Now, I don't earn this blueberry immediately. What's going to happen is I'm going to pick up a blueberry, and I'm just reaching around the camera to do that, and we go ahead and just place it on top of the leaf like this. And the only way I'm going to actually be able to pick up this blueberry is by um, finishing this 12 by or this 3 by 4 grid by filling up these 12 squares here. As soon as that happens, I'm going to be able to pick up all of the treasures that are in that specific area there. And when you pick up uh, a shape from in front of the bush, you're just going to move the bush just to signify, yeah, that's the start. It can get a little tricky if you start emptying it out and you're not quite sure which direction you're going, but we should be good. We're going clockwise. And now the red player kind of looking at their board, trying to decide what the best call is. Um, hmm. There's a couple of good options there. The one that's kind of jumping out at me is to take this tile here, and you could flip these or rotate them however you want to, but what if we kind of go right there? That way we're highlighting that blueberry, uh, but we haven't covered up any other fruit with the leaves, 
And so this is going to go right there like that. And that is the end of the red player's turn. And so you see, this can go pretty quickly, especially if I do my best to keep all of my dumb thinkings <laughs> a little bit off camera so that you guys don't hear me ramble forever and ever. Uh, but basically, what are we going to do next? I think my next move is for blue to put this tile right there. Again, highlighting the treasure um, while avoiding uh, covering up a treasure. And so that's going to let us put a blue a blueberry right there. And if I can fill up these three spots here, then I'm going to be able to claim all of the uh, treasures that are kind of sitting on top there. Okay, so for the red player, I'm thinking this tile would probably go well if we flip it over and put it right there. And that gets us a mushroom on top. Kind of annoying that these are uh, these two treasures are in two different zones of the board, but you know, I think getting all of these mushrooms is going to be a little bit tricky. Possible, but tricky. All right, the only terribly exciting move I could see for blue is to take this piece and put it right there, highlighting that mushroom. Let me reach around and grab a mushroom, and we'll place that on top like that. Okay, so for red's next move, I'm thinking this one goes like that. Put a blueberry on, oh, fat fingers and too far from the board. I really do not find that I have a problem with control when I am actually sitting <laughs> at a table playing this with people. <laughs> I'm just clumsy on camera. And before we go uh, back to the blue player, let me just point out, you might be saying, but Tom, you haven't told us what the animal tokens do yet. That's true, I haven't. Uh, these are going to come up a little bit later. And also when I'm teaching other people, I usually explain the animal tiles when the opportunity arises. And that will happen after one player completes one of those 12 square um, part. So don't worry about that. We're going to get there soon, I promise. Uh, but also notice that I wanted to point out just what is in line in the path up ahead. Um, because obviously as I'm recording this, I'm keeping an eye on that line for good opportunities to use it. I just haven't seen one just yet. Okay, so for the blue player, they have to keep placing because they don't even have a blueberry to refill their backpack if they wanted to. So we just have to make sure we're doing that intelligently. Um, which in our situation would probably mean, hmm, placing this tile. Where do we want to place this tile? I'm thinking, let's place it down here. I know we're covering up a blueberry, but we're also highlighting uh, a leaf treasure. And I'm just kind of, again, reaching around. And we're going to go ahead and put the leaf treasure right there. Okay, we're taking shape here. Now again, the uh, red player could use a blueberry to refill their backpack, but I think they want to get the next four items, possibly. Um, and if, if they chose not to use that, then they would refill their backpack automatically um, as soon as their backpack is totally empty. But for now, we've got it looking like that. And I think their next move, I'd really like to get uh, something I have and I have a plan for this so something for right there so let's avoid that for now but this looks like a pretty good move right here mushroom all right I'm gonna go ahead and fill up that mushroom still haven't completed a 12 square section but we're getting there blue is kind of struggling to make use of both of these but I think what we're gonna do is put this one here all right, so let me grab a blueberry, and it's going on top like that. They'll be able to refill their backpack as soon as they uh, spend this tile here. And now for Red's turn, you may be sitting there wondering, why don't I use this piece over here? Let me just point this out to you. I'm not using this over here because I'm covering up this blueberry spot, and I don't want to do that. And kind of needlessly put, I mean, I don't mind having a blank hole right there, but I have a plan for that blueberry spot right there. So I would like to keep that if I can. If I can place this in, an, in a smart way, I would like to do that um, before doing anything else too crazy. Maybe this is the place for that. Right here? I kind of like that. Uh, down there's not going to work. Yeah. Wait, how did I have that? <laughs> like that. 
All right, that's going right there, and that's gonna let me put an acorn tile here. Um, you'll see why in a second. I'm kind of mad that I've only got these two here, but maybe, ooh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna have to do with the animal tiles, which are coming up. But either way, uh, this is completely empty now, and so automatically our backpack is gonna refill. We need to refill in order uh, from the bush and take them exactly in the order that we see them into our backpack. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab these. I'm just gonna stack them so we don't have to make this a lot of different shots. Oh, and then I'm gonna grab that green one. But these come down here, and I'm gonna just back unpack them. All right, they were that way, and then we had one more green one, and then we're just gonna put the bush right over there. Okay, so the blue player, where are they gonna put this so that it makes the most sense? Uh, I wanna cover up the least amount of things, but also highlight the best. Oh, maybe right there? Well, that's not a terrible placement for that piece. There might be a better one. I mean, right here isn't terrible. Well, yeah, it is a little bit terrible, isn't it? Um, you're like, no. Do you know what? That might be the winning spot for that piece. All right, we're going right there. Uh huh. Yep. All right, blueberry. Grabbing that around the back and place it. Oh, there. All right, now on Red's turn, a couple of exciting things are going to happen uh, because I was waiting to get this piece right here. I'm gonna put this piece up here. We've got lots of blueberries going on. And what happens is we've got that blueberry there. I still haven't filled up this 12 uh, square section because we have a hole right here, but we're gonna go ahead and spend an acorn. And that acorn is going to attract a squirrel. And that squirrel coming into this spot is going to finish our first uh, 12 square grid right here. And so what happens in this case is you're gonna just take all of the treasures that are on top of the leaves from that spot there. Oh my gosh, my fat fingers, like that. And <laughs> then you're going to re-put everything into place. All right, and now let's talk about the animal tiles. So here's what the animal tiles do. Uh, anytime you have empty, like, empty holes, so nothing on top of these holes. That's why I had to wait to keep ruining this entire shot. All right, so you can see this L shape right here uh, with these different blueberries. Once per turn, you can go take an animal tile as long as it matches the shapes of the holes exactly. And so you can't have, like if that had been covered up, I would not be able to do what I'm going to do. Uh, but we can, oh my gosh. <laughs> go ahead and stop touching the board and go grab uh, one of these animal tiles. The one that's going to work for our situation is this one. You can see it's three squares in this L shape. And you're going to go ahead and put that right over those squares or those holes. And the cool thing about this is that we are going to get the treasures that match that shape there. And so we basically just got six blueberries just for playing that part pretty pretty smartly, if I do say so myself, like that. And so that piece goes right there. And that's, only the animal tiles can go on top of the other tiles. I probably should have said explicitly, but this kind of follows basic Tetris rules. You can't overlay off the sides. Um, you can't put one tile on top of the other, except these animal tiles, and they have to go on top of those holes uh, perfectly. So I'm trying to keep an eye on these big clusters over here because I know that these are gonna be good places for the animal tiles to go. Oh, and I'm so sorry, as soon as I had spent this tile here, I needed to uh, refill this, so let's go grab those tiles. Let me do my best to put these in order. That's four, that's five. Okay, and then we're gonna move this off, put the bush down here, grab these, and we'll just unpack them over here keeping them in order. And again, the big reason why order matters is because if somebody spends a mushroom, they're gonna take the tile that's closest to the backpack. All right, where are we headed with all of this? Um, okay, great opportunity. Well, no, I wish that was in the middle. We could put this here. The issue is I'd like to be able to use both of these if, well, both of these if I could. I would probably want a blank circle here and then another circle. I could maybe fit one of the um, the one L shape animal tile there. Oh, but do you know what shape would actually do that awesomely? Is, well, oh, 
this tile is going to ruin the opportunity to do that. But we could put a stick over here if I keep that available. Oh, but then that's not going to work. Hmm. So these are kind of where your tough choices are going to come in. How exactly do you place these down in a way that will help you get those animal tiles and really kind of duplicate that stuff? I think, I think I'm going to stick with what I had said primarily. So again, the reason I'm not doing this, if I put that down, then I'm not going to be able to put an animal tile across the top here. I might be able to get a hole here, but there's no way that I'm going to get two holes right next to each other. So for that reason, I'm going to place this one here, and I'm going to try to put a hole here and then a hole here. And that way I can put an animal token over those three like that. So really, placing, preparing and placing animal tokens is a lot tougher than it seems, um, but that's what I love about this brain stuff. I like the thinking. And only one more here, and we're going to be able to pick up that leaf. So for now, we put an acorn in that spot like that. And we're getting kind of close to being able to finish up this spot here, which will pick up that feather. And it would be great to pick that or to finish these over here to pick up all of those. All right, we're getting there. Kind of piggybacking off of what we were discussing over on the blue players board, I think the red player is going to pick this one up and put it here. And again, I know that we're not highlighting anything right here, uh, but it would be cool if we could make some kind of a shape. Maybe this T shape would be great because that would get us a free acorn. Yeah, I'm going to try to aim for having a T shape so that I could pull the fox uh, a piece off the board if possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but I'm going to really give it uh, a good try. Okay, the blue player doesn't love the piece that's in front of the uh, red player's backpack, but really likes what's in front of the bush and doesn't have a blueberry. I could downgrade these, but I don't... I try to avoid downgrading if you can. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spend this mushroom. And just a quick reminder, had this been a three or four player game, we would pick two players and steal the tile right closest to the backpack from each of them. Uh, but in a two player game, we're going to take the one tile in front of the red player's backpack and also the one right in front of the bush. And so blue is going to swipe this one and this one. And we get to place these on the board immediately. And look, this is going to be great. This is going to go right here like that. And that gets us a blueberry on that spot. And then this one, we're going to follow along with that plan that we had earlier and place it here. Now, we've finished this 12 uh, piece section here. These guys are just outside of that, so we're only picking up this, which is too bad because we were almost ready to pick up an animal token. Uh, so what we need to do to get that animal token is we've got to fill out this spot here. Just remember that using a mushroom is our action, like that's our big action, and so we are not going to be able to place one of these now, uh, but we're going to get there next. Okay, the red player. We're going to grab this. Man, there are a lot of red, red tiles left. Hmm. But the blue player's not really scaring us. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Oh, fit. Come on. There we go, right there. And we're almost done with this section. We also get to put an acorn on this spot here. Okay, we're getting really close to being able to put the fox down here. Yeah, all right, something like that. And since we can do this at any time, and the red player really likes that there's a lot of red things coming up, we're gonna go ahead and spend a blueberry. Uh, to refill our backpack with the next uh, four things. We're going to bring it up to five. And that's going to let us pick up the next four tiles, but we've got to keep them in order. So I'm going to stack them this way and do my best to pick them up. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is good. All right, these guys are coming in. And my understanding is that this is going to slide all the way over. And then we've got to go ahead and put these back in the order that they came away from the main path, like that, and they're gonna be ready for uh, next turn. Well, let's go ahead and slide this all the way down. Okay, I think before taking my main action, because I really think we might be able to get holes over all of that, I think. In my brain, this is gonna work. Uh, but before we do that, let's fill up this space here uh, with a squirrel. 
And that's going to complete this area of the board. So we get to pick up all of those and just ruin it all again. Okay, what do we got? I'm going to put these in order of strength. Something like that. Very cool. And now, again, once per turn, we can go pick up an animal tile. Let's go grab the uh, butterflies. They would fit right on top of there. And that's going to get us another blueberry and another acorn. So another acorn and another blueberry. Oh, flip that over. There we go. And with that part done, let's take our main action. Again, that was not our main action. That was just uh, an acorn action, which is a special one. Let's use this piece right here like that. And that's going to put an acorn, grabbing that, on top of that space. And our red player is going to just go ahead and put this green one right here to pop a feather on top. And with that done, we're going to go ahead and be able to pick up these two treasures here. Oh man, we're kind of doing the saving treasures thing here. <laughs> um, the, the reason why that's important is because at the end of the game, if both players are able to completely fill up their board, then what happens next is it's whoever has the most squirrels available and you can all do final exchanges. So we would be able to exchange two of these blueberries in for acorns to pull in a bunch of squirrels and also we'd be able to downgrade each of these mushrooms in for squirrels. So the red player is kind of trying to, uh, you know, play that game a little bit as well as keeping an eye out for other opportunities um, that could be coming their way. But for now, I'm feeling pretty good about that. There is something over on the blue player board that they'd like to probably use, but I think we're gonna save that for next turn. And now the blue player, again, really trying to focus up here. They're gonna grab this and put that down like that. And that's gonna gain another acorn up there. And then all they're gonna have to do is fill in that spot with, uh, with another hole, uh, planning on using this. But what they didn't plan on was the um, stupid <laughs> red player, not stupid, a very smart red player, uh, spending a mushroom in order to take this piece from the blue player. And, you know, I honestly wasn't even thinking about it. The blue player probably could have used their feather to just guarantee that they filled that part up. Uh, I just honestly wasn't thinking in that way, but now I am, but too bad, so sad. Uh, but also we need to grab from in front of the bush so we'll take both of these and place them immediately. So what we're gonna do is this one is gonna go right here. And that's gonna give us an acorn. And this other one is gonna be trickier. I didn't put a lot of thought into this piece, but I wanna get a hole right there if I can. Um, and my plan is kind of to go like this, boop, next turn. All right, so where do I need to put this to stay out of the way, more or less? Nudge that over. Um, let's see. Maybe like that? It's not overly helpful, though. Hmm. Okay. You guys, you guys don't want to watch this. Give me a second. I'm going to think this through. One second. Okay. Uh, could be a dumb call. I don't know. I'm kind of planning on coming here. And then maybe I could get a strand of stuff over there. Oh, something. All right. So let's go ahead and place that blueberry there. And yes, the blue player is extremely annoyed, but not overly deterred because let's just go ahead and spend this blueberry to refill the backpack. And they already have one piece there, so they're just gonna grab the next four pieces. And so this is gonna slide over, and then this was next, and then that, and then that, and then that. And then what's gonna happen next is, as we move the bush over here, when there are seven tiles here, uh, just off camera, I forgot to show this in the introduction, but just off camera, I have even more tiles that are, they stay off camera until it's time to refill, or they stay off the board. And so now what I'm gonna do is, let's just go ahead and refill um, the stuff. You gotta keep it in line, I'm doing the best I can, working around <laughs> the camera. 
all of these pretty colors and shapes and we just refill we refill the stuff kind of like we did at the setup video but maybe you didn't watch the setup video and that's okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and put these here and you just do your best to keep everything random and we'll just keep a little gap here and I do have some more tiles in case we need to refill again I doubt we will in a two-player game but that's what happens and how you refill that path but now the blue player still needs to take their main action and the reason why we wanted to I wanted to refill really badly was because look at this great opportunity right here that is gonna put a blueberry tile there it's gonna complete um, that another group of 12 which means that we're going to pick up that blueberry that blueberry and these two acorns and of course i'm going to make a mess and then we have this great um zigzag i don't what do you call that shape it's like the, the i always think of the sitting person shape <laughs> but we're going to be able to pick up one of those tiles and it happens to be their raccoons which is great because that has a blueberry on top of it and so we drop off that blueberry and since we're going to be covering two blueberries and two um, acorns we're going to pick up two more blueberries one two using my right hand that's tricky and then yeah there we go acorns wow that was a great move okay nice uh and now wait did i oh I'm gonna have to fix this sorry I'll go back and write a note I should not have cleaned off this board just yet because I hadn't covered up that spot um, uh, okay just to make it right because now I feel guilty I'm gonna go ahead and spend the acorn to pick up uh, a squirrel and we'll just cover that up and pretend like I had done that all along it can be a little bit tricky like <laughs> obviously the board is beautiful but it can be a little bit tricky so we have some butterflies and some squirrel friends I'll make a note of that so sorry my bad red is getting a little bit nervous because blue has had some great plays uh, and so how are we gonna well some ways that we're gonna fix that is we're gonna place this one down and let me not cheat this time <laughs> okay so we just finished this that's gonna gain us the blueberry that would have gone right on there and also this acorn and we are going to be able to pick up the fox and the fox is going to fit on that space right there and i teach middle school and my first year of teaching was when the stupid what does the fox say song come out uh, came out and so that's all i think about every time i go for this tile so this fox is going to drop off that acorn and we're going to be able to pick up two more acorns and a blueberry because of that fox going right there so two more acorns and a blueberry lots of great treasures now yeah that's all we can do because we did our main action okay i could probably convert some stuff to a feather to do more hmm. i think it's going to come it's going to become a foot race so i've got that option at least in my mind if we need it all right so the blue player is seeing something in front of the bush and in front of the uh in front of the red player that he kind of wants and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do that exchange thing i'm going to turn in I think yeah I'm gonna turn in two of these acorns instead of spending a leaf I'm gonna turn in two of these acorns and that's gonna let me pick up a mushroom but I'm gonna spend that mushroom immediately uh, to grab what's in front of the red player and in front of the bush so that gets us this one and this one and this is where these are going this one is gonna come right here and this one is coming down here like that okay so we need an acorn and a mushroom mushroom acorn yep all right that was the blue player's turn the red player is getting a little bit panicked because again it's a race to fill up your board and so i think uh they're going to kind of abandon this this hoo-ha we're going to go ahead and place this up here like that and then i'm going to turn in an acorn to pick up a squirrel going right there that's gonna fill in this spot so here's the line it stops right there so I'm not gonna pick up that blueberry we do get this acorn though oh man okay I think this is gonna be this is gonna be a foot race um, yeah we've got that uh, but then also they're gonna spend this blueberry to refill their backpack so let's pull this over and we need four tiles and I've got a plan for these two especially I think so I'm gonna grab these pull these over and 
splay them back out. I think I got those in the right order. I hope so. I've been trying to be smart. And that's going to put the bush up here. And now the blue player is not stupid, but this is this is going to be tricky to fill this in. We, we want to be effective and fill this up if we can all the way. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend the feather and the feather is going to let us place two tiles of our choice. And I think the two tiles I want to put down this time, oh, I don't want to do that. Ooh. Crap. Okay. It's kind of hard to visualize. I was going to go here and then also here, but I, I'm going to overlap that. So instead, I'm going to put this one down. Again, not getting a treasure for better or worse. Hard to tell. Put that one down, and then this one, or this would fill up more spaces. Oh, and then there's a three on the way. Okay, maybe we put this one. I was thinking about maybe putting the square up here, but then we would need a couple of turns to fill in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. That was our feather. And then what I need to do is I'm going to spend an acorn. And again, you can use as many of these acorns and blueberries as you want to. I'm going to spend an acorn to grab um, this, to put that there. I'm going to do that again. Acorn, another squirrel is going here. And then finally, I'm going to be able to finish this next turn. Uh, I'm going to use a blueberry to refill my backpack. So let's slide this down and go grab the next three pieces. So blue is really taking a risk, but I think that they're going to be able to finish before red, maybe. But maybe red, I don't know. Ooh, I honestly don't know. Okay, so these come here, and you can see the blue is just planning on going right here. Uh, they'll be able to put out an animal tile, but it, it won't get them anything. So either way, that's fine. Okay, red is and should be panicked. And so to address that, let's just start piecing some stuff to make sure that they can fill up their board. Because if they can fill up their board next turn, they're going to win probably because of all of these treasures. So if this one goes here, for example, uh, let me put... I want to put something there. Uh, um, cube. Cube. I've got some Gloomhaven cubes close by. Okay, so that's my temporary one. I could put that one there. And if I take a second turn, I could put this one here, and then next turn I could put that other one there. Okay, we're going to be able to do this, but it's going to require us uh, taking two actions. So let's spend these two mushrooms, convert them into a feather, and I'm going to use that feather immediately to go ahead and place this one as well. And that's going to get me, I need to put on the board an acorn and a blueberry like that. And then let's spend one of these acorns to put out a squirrel like that. And that's going to fill in that spot. So we're going to pick these ones up. Blueberry, blueberry, feather. All right. Whew. Crisis averted. And as we're bringing this to a close, I think I misspoke. I talked about it really doesn't matter because it's a one-to-one -one conversion. If both players can fill up their board, then it's the person with the most nuts. I think I said squirrels earlier, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so there's no reason to slow this down. Basically, the blue player is just going to put that there. They could put the blue robin or whatever, the bird's tile there. It doesn't make a difference. Let's do it uh, for the prettiness sake. And these can go right there, but there's nothing underneath them, so we're not like really earning anything from that. Oh, why? I'm so absent-minded. But now that this is full, we take these. Now that this one is done, we take this. And for whatever reason, I didn't take all of these other treasures before. That's silly me. Of course, I'll make a note of it on that ticker tape stuff. Okay. Cool. Yes, blue player is done. But the red player gets one more turn because the blue player was the first player. And you make sure everybody has the same number of turns. And the red player is going to kind of breathe a, a sigh of relief that they had this piece. This piece is going to fit perfectly right there. Earn them this blueberry. Now, there were no more animal tiles to put on there uh, anywhere. I ugh, got a little bit tough over here. But 
the red player is done and so what we need to do now since they both tied on actually finishing their floor and by the way look at how pretty that is very very pretty game um, now what they do is they're going to just convert stuff into acorns and just as a reminder two blueberries give you an acorn and then a mushroom gives you an acorn and a feather turns into a mushroom which turns into an acorn and so these two mushrooms are going to turn into two acorns, magically, like that. And then what have we got? Two, one, two, three, four. Four more acorns from uh, these blueberries. So let me just grab those. One, two, three, four. All right, so we've got those there. So we've got eight acorns for the blue player. All right, and so for the red player, this converts to a mushroom, which in turn uh, converts to an acorn. So let me grab that. And wow, this could be pretty close. Six. No, not that close, I guess. Now the blue player had eight. So this is going to be one, two, three, four. All right, pull those off. And so <laughs> the red player, one, two, three, four, ended up with 10 acorns. Uh, to the blue players, what was it? Eight acorns. And then they had one berry. Now, I, I don't, the rule book doesn't say if there's a secondary tiebreaker. There's some online chat about if you have an extra blueberry, does that count as half a nut? I don't really know. Um, I've never encountered that before, but I also haven't played this that many times before either. Either way, the red player is the victor in this situation. And that, my friends, is how you play Indian Summer. Very cool, very light, very beautiful uh, game. Now, this is my ignorance speaking here, but um, I don't know what this has to do with Indians or Summer, but it's still so pretty that who cares? Um, I don't know. If I was asked to rank this in Cottage Garden and Patchwork, I think A Feast for Odin is in it's a different league. It has a, the same kind of a mechanism, but it's such a heavy, it's a worker placement game more than it is a, a tile tetris -y game. Um, I don't think that I could rank them because there are so many different things that I like about them all. I, I almost wish that they'd all get together and have a baby, and maybe that'll be the next game, who knows. Uh, but like for Patchwork, I really love the buttons economy. Like you have the time and the buttons, and I like that economy of the pieces and how they are all balanced in that way. Uh, for Cottage Garden, I really like the way that they have the... Um, the board to pick the pieces. I like having those lines and trying to plan ahead and, and things like that. Um, but for this, I really like this this placing the, the holes in the pieces down in certain ways and really trying to balance, do I go after the animals, which will duplicate things? I really think that that fox is what saved me, was I was able to duplicate so many pieces um, there. I, I like that. I like that balance, the, the race to fill up, but also the race to keep enough treasure tokens around. Uh, I think it's super fun, but e who cares? Either way, I like them all. I'm actually keeping all of them, but that's because I am allergic to selling my games off, but I need to get better at that because I'm completely out of space at this point. Um, but regardless, I enjoy this game a lot. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, and I hope it was helpful and or fun for you to see it uh, played out. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye!